Welcome to Dr. Jerry uh, today uh, with us here in Chapel. And we are uh, celebrating his installation as the president of Luther College, uh, both at the high school campus here on Royal Street and at our University of Regina campus under one board and one president. So Dr. Jerry, uh, on Sunday, uh, three o'clock in the afternoon, you were installed as Luther College's president. I'd like to, in a few moments, talk about what that means to you. But before, do you mind opening up uh, this, uh, this conversation with a prayer? Sure, Mr. Steve, glad to, and thanks for having me. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we give thanks to you for this day. We give thanks to you for the community of Luther College, for our students, for our faculty and staff. We give thanks to you for the Holy Spirit blowing in and through our hallways, inspiring us, keeping us, watching over us, brooding us. We ask your holy blessing on this conversation and on our work that we have to do in this day. All these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, thanks again uh, for being with us today, Dr. Jerry. And uh, I'm just going to turn it over to you to, to, to share with us what it, uh, I know we've had you uh, introduced as a, uh, on our social media as of July 1st as the incoming president of Luther College. And of course you did a chapeling, a chapel for us the opening week of school. But now what is it like to be formally installed as you were on Sunday at Christ Luther? Thanks for, uh, thanks for the chance to visit a little bit about it. Uh, Bishop Sid, who presided over the event, made a joke before the service saying, you know, installation's a little bit like, you know, putting a fridge in the kitchen is kind of the, uh, kind of the term. But uh, uh, the idea of an installation uh, is not new to universities uh, and schools, is often there's some kind of a celebration to, uh, to welcome a new president into a community. What's different about our experience, I think, is that ours was done in the midst of a church service uh, at Christ Lutheran Church. And it very much speaks, I think, to the, uh, our Lutheran tradition. Uh, the service itself was presided over by the bishop. Um, and that's, a, that's, that's an important piece. Um, as you know, I'm also a Lutheran pastor. And so uh, being a part of uh, having a letter of call from the church uh, for this role, uh, if you will, renews my license as a pastor, for lack of a better phrase. Um, but it means I'm also accountable to the church and accountable to the bishop in, uh, in all that I do. And so that's an interesting twist on the president's role for Luther College. I think Luther has a really important role to play in, uh, in its vocation in ministry and uh, that we are in fact a, a ministry of the church. If you watch the installation, you will have note that the bishop asked me a few questions uh, that I had to answer as part of the installation service. And one of them that strikes me as interesting for chapel is this. The bishop said, will you preach and teach in this educational ministry in accordance with the Holy Scriptures and with the confessions of the Lutheran Church? And my response was, I will, and I ask God to help and guide me. Wow, what a question that is. Uh, I think that's very much speaks to our rootedness in our Lutheran tradition to say we are based in this Christian faith. We are based as a confessional church, and those mean some very specific things. I think Luther in 2020 uh, is also very much a school that's open, that says that faith is an important piece of who we are. And uh, I think that's really where we are as a school in these days. While we're rooted in our tradition, we are open to inviting people of many faiths. Uh, to participate, but that faith is an important part of how we live out our uh, how we live out our lives. One of the other questions that the bishop asked was this: Will you give faithful witness to the world that God's love may be known in all that you do? Wow! Will you give faithful witness in the world that God's love may be known in all that you do? I don't know about you, Mr. Steve, but that sounds an awful lot like call. And it sounds an awful lot about who we are as faithful people to care for the world around us. Um, maybe you have a comment just thinking about call and, and what our work at Luther College is about. Well, thank you for asking, Dr. Jerry. You know, the, the idea about being called to serve is an important part of what I believe my personal um, vocation is and what uh, God has asked me to do with my life to serve our students and our staff and the wider community of Luther College. Um, including our alumni, our parents, uh, friends of the college. Um, and in that, uh, it's more than just a job. It's more than just a show up, you know, from eight to five every day and um, do my tasks and uh, at the end of the night, go home and then collect a paycheck every few weeks. It's something that God has called us to do. 
And there's something different from that than an average nine to five existence, that there is purpose to what we do, that there is, that I am responsible to others. And that this is not for my own um, self-interest, but it is to do God's work. And sometimes that means there's unpleasant tasks that we are expected to do and asked to do and required to do, but that uh, we are called to do those things. And um, having um, humbly the opportunity to serve in a leadership role at Luther as, a, as an administrator or to be responsible for our chapel program, I feel that I am responsible to others because it is my calling. Well said, Mr. Steed, really well said. I think that understanding this place as a place to be called, to learn about how to care for the world uh, God made, to work for justice and peace. One of the questions that I get asked is, where do we go from here? Where is Luther College's next steps? And as we think about Vision 2025 and where Luther College is going, one question that matters to me is, what difference will our graduates make in the world? How will they be able to care for the world around them and show God's love in what they do in whatever vocation or call they choose. And so that's one of the reasons why I'm so excited about being here and why uh, we do a church service to install uh, new presidents. Uh, if I may, there's one other question. Uh, there's a number of questions the bishop asked, but there's one at the end that I think is worth talking about. And it says this, uh, the bishop turns to the congregation or in our case, it was a virtual congregation and says this, will you pray for him and his family, Marnie and Carmen, that's my wife and daughter, help honor him for his work's sake and in all things strive to live together in peace and unity of Christ. And so this is a question from the bishop to the assembly, the calling assembly to say, will you pray for Mark? And will you pray for Luther College? And so I guess today I covet your prayers uh, for all who are watching, pray for us, pray for our staff, pray for each other, pray for the world. Uh, it matters, it deeply matters. Thank you so much, Dr. Jerry, for coming and taking time to share that with us today. And I encourage all uh, that have not had the opportunity to, uh, did not have the opportunity to watch the installation live as we streamed it on um, our social media, that it can be found on Luther social media, I believe on our Facebook, you can go and watch the service. Uh, I encourage you to do so, whether you know, you're currently a member of the Luther community or whether you're somebody watching this through YouTube, go and watch the installation of Dr. Jerry as our new president at Luther College. God bless you in your work, Dr. Jerry. Thank you for sharing today. Thank you, Mr. Steve. Blessings to all.